Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So here's a quick video on how to straighten hair for those who are struggling with straightening hair. So right now, especially on wigs, right now I'm showing you how to straighten hair with a straightening comb. This is an electric straightening comb that I purchased online from either a beauty supply store or Amazon, sorry. But you could get it from either one. And they also have ones that you put on a stove top if you have gas in your house or apartment or wherever. So, right now, I am trying to get rid of this hump. I apologize for the shot. Um, it's going to get better soon. But I wanted you, because you could at least see a little bit of what I'm doing. So, right here, I am pulling it, like, down, pressing hard, hard, hard on the hair. Like, soup as hard as I can on the hair. And kind of combing it or sliding it down, but still combing it. But holding, like you see, I hold the hair and then I press into it because I want that root to get really super flat. And I keep doing it until it's super flat. Now, don't hold on to it for like five seconds and then move. No, you got to glide really slow, like really super slow, as you can see, because I'm doing it in real time. I wanted you to get the gist of what I was doing. Because you don't want to burn the hair, you don't want to do anything or leave indentation and stuff. Sometimes you might get an indentation, just go over it with a flat iron if you could. All right, so we are continuing to straighten the hair. Now I'm trying to just, since I'm flat ironing it, you know, it's going to get straight anyway, but that top was, oh my gosh, that was a silk closure. And the closure here is, if you know silk closure, it comes out. It's, um, you know, it's a lot. So, and it's very thick. Some can be very, very thick. So this one was a thick closure, four by four silk closure. Love it. Um... And I'm pressing out the bang because I want to just make sure that the bang is flat too. We want the bang to be flat too, all right? You want the bang to be flat. You don't want the bang to be too bushy. You want everything to just lay flat. And a real key thing too also besides, because your wig could be flat as ever, but if your braids are too chunky and you got a lot of hair and you didn't braid it down flat enough, yeah, you're going to be in a little bit of trouble. Y yeah. So right now this is a ventilated cap that I'm using. And by ventilated cap, meaning that you can actually, it's breathable. You can feel your scalp. Um, if you ever see those caps that have like plastic on the back of them, that is, this is that. So you do that and you take the plastic off, which some can be a complete pain in the, the it's a complete pain in the ass. I'm just going to say that. It's ridiculous. So right now I'm taking the back of the comb. Um, well, I did take the back of the comb and I was flat ironing the top. So I'm just going down and it's looking pretty flat to me. I'm just going over it a little bit more just to make sure that everything is good to go. Um, and we are going to, yeah, we're going to fix that little hair down there. Don't worry. I'm adding some wax. So the wax is just to help keep the hair down a little bit. And then I'm going to take the comb and go over it again. That way everything is just, you know, a little bit, make sure that everything is laid properly because we want it to be laid, literally laid. Okay. Laid the hell down. Do not stick up, please. Okay. We don't want any of those flyaways going on. All right. So just keep going on and on with the high and comb to you know not just to your liking but make sure it's flat okay and again do not burn the hair do not burn yourself hold the handle do not hold the comb do not touch the comb it is hot okay it is hot you see that smoke coming out of it yeah that means it's hot all right so right now what I'm going to do is I am going to pin up the hair section it off so I have it's a little easier to curl that way Especially when you have like a bob. Well, no, I think any hair is just easier to curl that way. Disregard. Um, so right now, you see I do have a lot of gaps, like huge gaps in between. Because this wig is supposed to be really, really, really light. Um, the person wanted it to be really, really, really light. Um, so we did that. And I am just fixing it up. And right now, not fixing it up. You know what I'm doing. I'm straightening the hair. Okay, so I'm taking sections and I'm holding the hair at the bottom. And this time I'm not curling completely under because I don't want a curl that goes under. I want like a kind of partial curl, just a bump. All right, so that's what I'm going for, like a little bump. All right, and you can use your comb, which I'll do shortly. Um, but just being that this whole setup was a little uncomfortable because I was just doing it so I could film that the whole me holding a comb thing was just annoying. Um, but I did hold the comb once you get up. It's good to hold the comb for longer hair and curly hair so you could pre-stretch it. 
All right, or you can hold it, but I think it's pretty stretching is good. So as you come down with it. So right now, yep, we are just going over it section by section. You don't want too many sections with the flat iron. This is like a one inch flat iron that I'm using right now. Comb the hair out to get any of the tangles out or whatever. Yeah, tangles, duh. That's why you comb the hair. Um, you want to keep flat ironing it. Keep the wrist half turn okay that is important do not turn it towards you all the way you'll see my wrist go in a second um look at this all right here we go here we go you see how it's just a little bit of a turn just a little turn because you just want that bump now there's some styles that you have just a straight straight here and that's because they cut it when it's straight but this is washed now so it's basically wavy and it has its own little curl pattern which i love all right this is me using the comb so the comb was giving me a little bit of trouble, but I mean, I know how to use a comb. It just felt that this angle or the way I was using it is not the normal way that I would use it. And I was trying to do it for, like I said, for educational purposes or just for the video, and, you know. All right, so we keep going over and over it with the flat iron, okay? So now I'm gonna just speed it up a little bit. Oh. No, I did not. All right, I'm going to keep that one in there. So we are, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. We are speeding it up. My bad. <laughs> All right, so with this right now, I am just going to just talk while this is playing so you have something to listen to because you know that music is expensive and I do not own a record studio. But right now, I am really loving this hair. This hair, I do not offer this hair right now. But it can be offered on, you know, put in a request, email me at mercycouturewigs at gmail.com. And, you know, we can see what you can do. This is our Indian, well, this is the Indian hair. That it is amazing. It is amazing. So I would use that in some hair, uh, some units, custom made units. Um, so I'm going to work on making more custom made units and including this hair. Okay, I love, love, love Indian hair. So right now I am on to the section two, as you can see, and I am not moving fast. The video is just moving fast, just FYI. So I'm still going at the same pace, still going you know, reasonably slow using the comb because I kind of want this part now to be a little less bumpy and to have more of a, I'm kind of turning it at the top with my wrist because I want that bump not less bumpy, I should say. I want more of a bump throughout the whole hair, um, the whole shaft, all right? So we are going section by section, and pretty much this is going um, pretty quickly, I would say, because it's not a lot of tracks. It's really like one and a half bundles that's in this, so it's going. You know what I'm saying? It's going. Originally, it was like a 12 inch which now I would actually start making my bobs with 14 inches just because the longer it is the thinner the edges are and it really really makes a difference so and this darn GTG whatever it is GEX um wig uh tripod it is the worst the worst now I don't know if I got just a bad one or what the case is but it's the worst okay now you see what just happened I just did it uh, curled it and it did not actually curl properly so you go over it again make sure you bump it stuff like that happens it's not a big deal you know what I'm saying but try not to go over it all the time like over and over and over again especially with bobs do not sleep in your bob wig um, if it's not sewn down or glued on just because you're gonna have to keep curling it every single day because you're going to get flat in the back that's just what happens with the bob unless you sleep like the um regina king from friday then you're good to go yes you remember those days yes yes when you had the short hairstyle and you had to sleep with your head your hand under your neck yeah 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 i remember that Ah, anyway, back to the video. We are showing you how to now do the bang. So pretty much I'm going to just scroll through it since you already saw it. It was me parting the bang and just kind of doing the same method, a little bump. All right, and I'm just going to give it a little trim. Okay, damn, I thought that I kind of got rid of that, but I did not. So that's my braids. All right, so pretty much 
this hairstyle is done. I'm just now going over it and trying to just figure it. And see, this is something is going on is with this static business. I don't know if it's my apartment. I don't know what the hell's going on. But sometimes this hair has some static, which I do not like. And I'm just going to be honest. So I'm still trying to figure out how I can make that a lot better. So right now what I'm doing is I am fixing the part because I noticed that the part was just a little bit off center so I was trying to get it more in the center and I'm adding some of that wax stick so that way I don't have to re press the hair out with the hot, hot comb okay so and that's another word for them hot comb straightening comb yes so right now ooh, look at that flat oh my gosh I'm loving it yes I did the bangs a little jagged because I didn't want a straight bang just wanted something that I could just see and be fluid right now I'm adding some of this little oil to my hands it's the um, I forgot the name of the oil but it's not this shiny but it's not heavy so it's very very light and we're going to put it on and make sure everything is popping i love this hair i really really love this wig it looks amazing it's really shiny it's really luster look at it oh my gosh it's body movements okay come on now well thanks for watching guys